Cameron is in 44, and Kerry Lax in 95. Okay, this looks like it. Lights have gone out, here we go folks. 25 laps of modified sedan racing. Off and gazing and they've left. Rodney Parmenter drifting offline, went back to position number three in the race lead. It's Aidan Raymond to the better of Greg Walling. Back then to Rodney Parmenter, Robert Chap, a little bit of biff and barge and push and shove. Doesn't do anybody any harm. Except Peter Gray comes off worst out of all of that and that leaves tucked in there in about position number five, Brett Barron being chased by Kerry Lack. The other one coming through at a great rate of knots is car number 15 of Tim Atkin. We'll go back to our race leader. And at the moment, that's uh, Aidan Raymond to the better of Greg Walling as they go down the main straight away. Raymond's got his hands full this time because Walling is fully intent back there in position number two coming around. The outside is Robert Trapp on Rodney Parmenter tucked in there too is Brett Barron Tim Atkin would be the next one and on the outside it's Kerry Lack so uh, plenty of action at the front of the field in the modified feature race race leader Aidan Raymond trying to keep the car facing nice and steady in the right direction we got a problem right here in front of us in turn number two We'll slow them all down, well, know exactly what he's got to do. Concentrating on keeping that car down low. On the racetrack, not giving Greg Walling an inch of room. Outside the witch's hat, go we're racing. One in trouble for sure will be uh, the, the black car. That uh, will bring on a yellow one, I would imagine. Jason Gray got going very quickly, tried to pull out of it. The car behind had nowhere to go. And uh, car 78, some major damage to the rear end of the car. Eight sedans. Aidan Raymond leads them away. Greg Walling's right behind him. Rodney Parmenter. Next one through there would be Brett Barron. A bit of a scrap then between uh, the 72 car of Shane Langton. Don't tell me we got a yellow one again. Brett Barron, Kerry Lack, and Shane Langton to the outside of the witch's hat we go. Nose to tail restart, good start from the front of the field as uh, Aidan Raymond leads them down the back chute. With Greg Walling in close pursuit, Rodney Parmenter. Here comes Walling underneath as they head down the main straightaway. Aidan Raymond shuts the door on him. We're on 20 to go. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling, Rodney Parmenter. Brett Barron. Back then to Kerry Lack in front of Shane Langton. No changes to that. The one on the passage up through is Darren Lester, trying to get up underneath the 72 car of Shane Langton. So a bit of movement back there in towards the middle of the pack. We go back to the race leader. That's Aidan Raymond leading from Greg Walling. Back then we go to Rodney Parmenter, who's closed the gap up very quickly. Back behind him, it's still Brett Barron. Then we've got Shane Langton with a whole gaggle of cars behind him. Kerry Lack on the outside. The one on the inside would be Darren Lester. In there too with them is uh, Mick Shelford and Matty Smith. So they're arguing about some minor placings and it's very close tucked in there. We go back to the race leader though. That's Aidan Raymond. Aidan Raymond. Greg Walling down the main straight. Rodney Parmenter very quick in a straight line. Back behind them, it's Brett Barron. A bit of a gap back then, we find uh, Darren Lester breaking away from the pack. They're coming up on Pacey Clegg. 
to put a lap on him. He'll move out of the way as David Head brings car 24 onto the infield. Race leader heads down the back chute. That's Aidan Raymond in the western corner. Pacey Clegg trying to stay out of harm's way, pulling out back on the racetrack in front of the uh, fast coming cars was in fact Peter White and that caused all sorts of chaos and uh, Aidan Raymond up on the tail of Pacey Clegg. Clegg wants to argue the point on the outside. Remember he has to hold his line, that's all he's got to do. He doesn't have to slow down. Greg Walling not far away. The car on the outside is a lap car, that's Pacey Clegg. We've got a yellow one again because we've got car 69 with a wheel rolling onto the infield, that might be his, but car 69 up against the fence. That's Russell Harris with an escaped wheel. Involved in this little scrap. Darren Lester not too far away and neither is Matty Smith as the lights go green again. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling, Rodney Parmenter, Brett Barron on the outside of him as Darren Lester and Matty Smith tucked in there. Lester goes around the outside of the Brett Barron car. He won't like that as they head down the main straight away, but it's Darren Lester moving up into position number four and Barron can't do anything about it. Matt Smith has a go at him now. Barron shuts the door on him. We go back to our race leader. That's Aidan Raymond trying to keep the car in a nice straight line. Keep it close to the grass. Bounces it through that bit of a bump at, uh, underneath the control tower. Greg Walling not too far away. Rodney Parmenter still tucked in there. The one on the move is Darren Lester. We got Peter White in trouble again racing again. Let's see if we can get these final 12 laps completed. Outside the witch's hat, nose to tail, nice and steady. Aidan Raymond is the race leader as they head past the witch's hat and settle down, down the back straight away. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling is right on his hammer, right on that boot lid. He couldn't get any closer. Down the main straight away we go. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling, Rodney Parmenter, and Darren Lester. Brett Barron trying desperately to get up on terms with them. Matty Smith would be the next one. Tucked in there in car 72 is Shane Langton. Have a look at Walling. Has a little look down the inside. Aidan Raymond versus Greg Walling. Rodney Parmenter still in the action as is Darren Lester. As they head down the back chute and underneath the pit gate it is still Aidan Raymond. Around the western corner, we got the yellow lights yet again. Pacey Clegg again facing the wrong way. We're nearly down to single figures, folks. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling, Rodney Parmenter. Off and racing with 10 remaining. Aidan Raymond, Greg Walling, missed the start a little bit, allowing Rodney Parmento to get very close. Next one behind in there would be Darren Lester. Behind him is still Brett Barron, Matty Smith, and a car 72 of Shane Langton. That's the way they go underneath the control tower. Aidan Raymond, the race leader. Greg Walling, can he find a way underneath or around the outside. I don't think he's willing to have a go on the outside. Rodney Parmenter probably uh, happy to sit there in third. As we said that, he comes charging up the inside of Greg Walling. Parmenter having a little look down the inside. He and Greg Walling side by side round the western corner and uh, Rodney Parmenter has moved into position number two with eight, seven laps remaining. Aidan Raymond, Rodney Parmenter, Greg Walling. Next one is Darren Lester in front of Brett Barron and Matty Smith. That's the way they go around the western corner, down the main straight away and under the control tower. And guess what? We've got a yellow light. 
Brady Roberts is the one facing the wrong way this time. Aidan Raymond. Can he stay at the front? Outside the witch's hat. Go, we're racing. Aidan Raymond. Rodney Parmenter and Greg Walling. As they head down the back chute and into the western corner, Parmenter has a little look down the inside. Just to allow Aidan Raymond to know that he's there. Put another one down, six to go. Parmenter down the inside of Aidan Raymond, trying to muscle his way underneath. Raymond shuts the door on him, won't have anything to do with it. Parmenter stays there, push and shove it might be, as they put another one down. Parmenter again trying desperately to get down low on that racetrack. Here he comes again, up level with Aidan Raymond and Rodney Parmenter has gone into the race lead around the western corner. Rodney Parmenter to the batter of Aidan Raymond. Back then to Greg Walling. Next one behind him is still Darren Lester. Then we've got a bit of a scrap developing as around the outside comes Tim Atkin. Drives around the outside of the Brett Baron, Greg Walling. Having a little look down the inside of Aidan Raymond. Can't do anything about it. Darren Lester on the outside, he says, here I come. Car number 59, can he do it? Race leader, Rodney Parmenter in the western corner. Have a look at Darren Lester up high on the racetrack. Greg Walling doesn't want to give him any room. They're all chasing Aidan Raymond, who holds on to two. The white flag will be waiting next time around. Rodney Parmenter. Aidan Raymond has a little look down the inside to no avail. The car on the outside is Darren Lester. He's got up to position number three. Greg Walling back to four. White flag, one to go. As uh, Rodney Parmenter leads them down the back chute for the last time and into the western corner. Point score leader at the start of the night is going to win the final feature event in the Golden Helmet Series. Rodney Parmenter. Aidan Raymond. Darren Lester, Greg Walling in front of Tim Atkin. The next one would have been Brett Barron, Matty Smith in front of Wade Cunningham. Well, it took a while, but we got there, folks. He was the point score leader at the start of the night, and he's taken out the final race of the series for the Ian Botcher race parts, Golden Helmet. Rodney Parmenter, put your hands together for him as he does his lap of honour. He is the New South Wales number one. He's also Charlton Raceway number eight. Rodney Parmenter, Aidan Raymond, and Darren Lester. Excellent stuff from the Modifieds here tonight at Kingaroy Showground Speedway. And if there was any life left in those tyres, he's just destroyed them. Don't forget, folks, you are invited into the pit area for the uh, presentation. Have to do some quick calculations, but if he was leading the point score at the beginning of the night and he's won the final feature, I think he might be taking home the golden helmet, but we won't jump to conclusions. Rodney Parmenter, 